All right, now this is a video on how to change the uh, coupler on a KitchenAid blender. It's not the traditional KitchenAid blender, because you'll see if you've got one of these type of couplers, uh, it doesn't actually have the raised, uh, I don't know what they're called, teeth. So it's really hard to get it out. You can't just bang it with a screwdriver and a hammer like they show in other demonstrations. So I've had a hard time trying to figure this out, and I'm hoping this will be helpful. I'm going to help have my assistant here take over the camera, and she is going to do some videotaping here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this over, and my dear assistant, if you could come in and show people what that little label looks like. So this is on a uh, KSB 465. And what you do, and what she's going to videotape me demonstrating, is there's four screws on the bottom. So you have to turn it over, and you have to pop off two of the feet. And then what you have to do is take your screwdriver, just a standard Phillips screwdriver, and you're going to unscrew four of the screws. Now, of course, as they say in all videos, and I just kind of hope everybody does this, you unplug the thing, because you don't want to be putting a screwdriver into something that's actually plugged in an electric. And I've already loosened these screws so that I can just quickly go through this demonstration. And hopefully all four are now unscrewed. You just lift off the casing, which exposes the fan and the spindle. Only way I could figure out how to do this to grab this, there is a, 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 a slot for a screw, but it just doesn't work well. What I've done is I've taken a small set of vice grips, but it definitely requires something that is going to hold this in place. So I've gone ahead and put vice grips on here. And then, using a um, channel lock, I open the channel lock all the way. Now the thing about these is they're screwed on the opposite. It's not righty, uh, righty tighty, lefty loosey. You actually have to tighten it. So you tighten it. I've already actually loosened this one. But you actually unscrew it using your channel locks, and it comes off by uh, the tightening motion. And now you have the old one off. And all you do is take the new one, which I have. I can't find it. But you just take the new one, and you uh, do it in the opposite direction. You can go hand tight, because as soon as you start blending, it's going to tighten for you. And then you just reverse the steps. It's really that easy. And you, reduce, you pull this out, screw it back on, put in your four screws, replace your two feet, and you're ready. You have a new coupler on there. Just so that you know which one uh, it looks like, it is the, uh, the type where the um, blender, uh, what do you call it, pitcher? looks like this. This is what fits into it. So I hope that is uh, helpful to you.